Before I begin the video, I just want to clarify that I'm aware of how bad day one of this event was, and I'm not sponsored by iBuyPower in any way whatsoever. So everything I talk about is truly based on my opinion and not someone else's scripted view other than my own script. And I know it's super, super late already to upload this, but I've just been busy with life and other things like that. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Guys, this is sick. Got RTXs, a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, yeah, this is RTX, actually. So he's playing some Battlefield 1. I think all of them are playing Battlefield 1. Yep, I might try out later. Ooh, I get nice seats. Stream is starting like right now, so um, it's gonna be Fnatic against Cloud9, I believe, unless they're just setting up computers, I don't know. I hope I hope they play on that screen instead of this screen because I don't wanna watch this damn thing on a little on a little screen. Okay, here are the bands. I think it's uh what is it? I I was paying attention. Yes! Mirage. Yes, big screen! with the pistol round now it does look like Fnatic will be heading towards lower B to begin this A split they have one player towards halls two coming up the A ramp that jungle smoke now landing and we're gonna see the burst towards lower B oh it's gonna be relatively quick already through A main and a Ooh. sneaky player Brolin actually got down towards firebox but he is quickly extinguished back there and now this push towards the A side or wrap is starting to get a little bit lackluster but that kill is gonna be massive as well Kiyoshima pairing up with the kind of things is he looking difficult for Fnatic that's it and it does look like they're just looking for a pick that will sway the tide whether they go one way or the other oh my god i missed that damn it from the top of the boxes it's gonna be very hard pressed to win this takes that first fight towards jungle and there it is yeah play Celsius was able to do a huge clutch earlier that smoke lands a triple box but you'll still be able to see a diffuser if he managed to go for oh. that one JW hits him in the kidneys a second smoke comes down Kiyoshima has the automatic weapon and he's on the bomb right now I don't even know if they know oh, this no. they'll spray across and they'll defuse it 16 14 is how it ends there were just weren't enough uh so um Fnatic just won against cloud 9 16 14 kind of sucks but that was fun watching <laughs> team liquid's um setting up right now and i the Fnatic will set up player they're winning this yeah we're in the line right now for um complexity i believe so yeah, it's complexity. I'm gonna try to get them to sign as much as they can on my mouse pad. It's a HyperX, so I think it's uh, extra large. I believe. I don't know. A little signing right now. How's it going, everyone? Yeah. What up, guys? What up, what up? Let's get the fucking thing going here. <laughs> There's some sweet mouse pads. Yeah. yeah. The gamer in mind. It's the legend himself, Nutton. What's up, bro? You vlogging? So, yep. Keep it steady, get a good shot there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks, brother. Just don't watch the What's happening? What's up? How's it going? How's it going? Having fun? Yeah. How are you? How are you? How are you? Good. Enjoying? Enjoying. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck, you guys. What's up? What's up, dog? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Do you have a marker by chance? Ah, uh, no. Shoot. Not in the middle. But he's Moses. <laughs> I, I play on it. I don't want the to wear out. He's gonna be using it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be using it. Yeah. I'm gonna do like a little side by side comparison with this. Remember the last time we did the map? Did you already do a map? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even think I heard it. He said we need Taco back. That's what he said. Oh my god. So the match will be Fnatic against Team Liquid. Obviously both have um, roster changes in the recent days, so let's see how these new rosters go. Might be a little bit of a late round. 
on the UI on the top actually if you look along the sides of the cover line. So a little bit sorry missing classic. T side pistol strat coming up here. Three players over the boost, getting that easy mid control, not really being contested. Lee shows his face. Takes a hell of a lot of damage. That's that kit player as well. Important to keep him alive at least for a little while. And they're gonna go chasing through connector, managing to take down Nat and Elise Roland leading the way. Fnatic tearing through this pistol right now. I mean, not taking any damage, so he could definitely save. Oh, he could definitely save the uh, the armor. Spoke too soon, of course. No. Very nice positions from Elise as he backs out of middle. 45 seconds left. You, you have four players on the CT side. You don't have to try to go too aggressive. He'll go for a peak fight. Yeah! Out in a one versus three clutch. Don't really see it happening. No kit available and very little information to work with. Struggling to get past this first player at forklift. He's doing his damnedest. Nice little headshot, but one HP is an easy pickup for Elige in the end. Perhaps a little bit too much there with the headshot, but a 16 to six score line. If you were wondering where the phase matches were, they were actually on the second floor of the arena. I honestly don't know if the matches were ever streamed and I don't know why they would separate the two matches, but it is kind of weird to see that ever happening. I don't know why, but uh, if you're wondering, that's where they were. For Fnatic, what on earth do Liquid do? Twist! My god, the quick scope comes in from bad to worse. It's a catastrophe. It certainly is. It just needs exist to find this final kill, and everyone will have pulled their weight in this round. Elise has been around, and there it is. 3180s, but he can't find exist. Exist has been phenomenal from Catwalk. Finally taken down, though. A two versus three here for Liquid. They don't have much time. They have to make this one work, and that's not a bad way to do it. Nitro taking matters into his own hands, but the bomb gets dropped. No! No, 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 come on! Come on! No! Oh! Fnatic still have no idea where this bomb is going. Up through connector, Nade lands, takes down Twist, but that's still only one player. They are yet to rotate across. And time is in favor of Liquid right here. They have so much control. They're behind their smokes. This is so, so smart. Flash is coming through. Player at Sandwich taken down by Stewie. All onto JW to hold things down initially. Bomb plant coming in. His teammates falling down around him. As it's all down to JW to stop the overtime. He cannot. Liquid secure the 15th. Ah, come on! Yeah! Let's go! Come on! Yeah! Twist, so we're into a three versus three. Twisted mid has gone bomb position, takes down one the second as well. Nitro to keep his team in this map as he falls to 11 HP and he falls to Crimson's AK. In this map, he falls to oh, damn it. Those punishing rotations, we not quite able to land it. With that eagle long towards JW, but at least the information gained and in pass back into more players. He knows this. He's gonna take the fight. The devil you know versus the devil you don't. And I don't know if he can stop this here. They are just surrounding him. Crims. Here he goes. Looking for the next fight, trying to guess right. The flank coming, but when Chris now pushing forwards. Oh, he might actually survive, he's done it. Send them home! 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 But surely, Fnatic moving their way in. Oh, JW takes down Nitro on top of the box. That could be the in that they need. Stewie 2K is waiting in tunnels, but that CZ not really going to be good at range. He plays for the information, however, and drops back. Come on. But is it going to be enough? There it is, a leech above the smoke. He finds them both. And <laughs> yeah! Oh. Yeah! So I actually left the whole arena just for a little bit. I went to Starbucks, got a drink, met Stewie2k. It was amazing. But I left for a little bit because the match after this one was Ghost Gaming against Astralis. And if you knew anything about CSGO, 
you were probably 99% sure Astralis was going to destroy Ghost Gaming. And during the first map, it did look like that. Astralis won against Ghost Gaming 16-2, which is a really bad score for those of you who don't know. But the second map, the map I came back to, I was in shock. Not only was Ghost Gaming winning, they were winning by a lot. Unfortunately, the Danes were able to make a comeback and they won 16 to 14 against Ghost Gaming, which is really impressive for a team that has never really made it to a major. I'm sure that gave Liquid a confidence boost when they saw this. So let's just get into that match just to see how it went. side but just took an early shot 16 hp what a beautiful pop flash to start things off three kills the way of astralis they have already set things up twist is only going to get a little bit of a consolation price there are wounded players for astralis but it might just be too little the bomb's been forfeit over and astralis will start to set up shop the two players fall back off of this giving naf control of the bomb if he so chooses he overshoots it but yeah, they come from behind as well. This Molotov is just like a parting gift. Oh, they'll finish the job. So Strong was, was into this form of, and they never really gave Ghost nice a side. Boo! off that spawn as well twist has his work cut out for him and that bomb is ticking away ever so slowly smoke is such a problem for him right now nobody's gonna be peeking that angle he shoves out and device shoves him back and speaking of two that's the device who's actually come through uh, the CT side of things is fighting them as they try and march their way up it is confusion everywhere but liquid on top of the trades on the edges of those smokes, Zipnix is a last standing, hoping that somebody pokes out and gives him a freebie. And they do that, but it was going to end up being a double peak anyway. Liquid take that. I thought this was going to be like a complete shit show, but uh, Liquid's got you coming back. I'm very surprised. And they're leading uh, 8 to 5. 5 is Astralis, 8 is Team Liquid. So um, I actually might have to leave because this is taking a lot longer than the developers you know, of this tournament decided to make. So, yeah. Behind that one, but Nitro's already been contended with. 3 on 4, man advantage for Liquid, and Stewie finds another. Another, looking for the next one as well as so far Astralis have run out of gas the bomb was fumbled and now picked up advancing forward device has to worry about what's behind him doesn't have the heart to be able to take down Elige though Debris disconnected from the rest of this one there's three CTs in front of him and the bomb not gonna happen liquid take map two sadly I was correct I had to leave it was getting late but what I saw online that same night was something I thought I would so never see so that blinds him, but it doesn't catch Dupree. There's your opener. Astralis is always quick on these. So he's able to get some cover, and he's been great here. As long as he can hold tight to the pillar, he's gotten a second one. Naf will fall back into the pit, and he'll take a second one as well. That's it! Naf seals the deal. There was a slight hope for Astralis. Team Liquid had won against Astralis. A team that Team Liquid was never expected to win against was just defeated. As both a rookie analysis for esports and a fan of Team Liquid, I believe that this win gave Liquid a lot of confidence. And I hope that this gives Liquid a confidence boost during the Katowice Major. And I know that this event will probably go down as one of the worst CSGO tournaments ever, mainly because of production errors and other errors like that. But as a live attendee, this will probably go down as one of the greatest moments of my life. What made this event very special to me were the people, the community, the viewers that were viewing right beside me. For once in my life, I didn't feel like I was the only one who watched esports in the world because that's how it felt like every time I watched esports at school. I was always the one kid who watched the video games online when everyone else was watching the Super Bowl. Here, I didn't feel like that. I was welcomed. Everyone was that one kid 
we all related. Whenever a good play happened, we all cheered. It was amazing, and I cannot wait for the next event. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.